Going back to my warm-up and playing partnerships and in pairs, now I've got two target players in the middle. Okay? All we're going to do to start with, um, the players in the middle will split to show for a pass. So let's have the ball at this corner. And you're going to do the same thing in that square, Del, okay? So players, you're going to split to show for this pass. So I'll have one option short and one option long, ideally. Okay, good. Which one are you going to hit? The deeper one, good. And be, don't be so close, okay? Just push away a little bit, be closer to your playing partner. So we're going to play that pass in there. It's going to be a little layoff here, and you're going to make a split run right the way through the middle there. You'll receive the pass, so make your run, continue your motion. You're going to play into her, and then you can choose which corner to play to out there. You'll have a target on your left and your right, and keep taking it in motion. Then you two in the middle again, good. You can show, we go deeper, a little bit of movement, play through, and then just try and take that in your run, choose your pass. Okay, so I'm just working on the midfield support runner now, splitting the strikers, trying to break the lines with their movement as these guys combine and then play forward. Okay, so it's that deep man running that we talked about earlier. I've seen Elmar do that and trying to break through the lines and not be receiving all the time when you're back to goal. You've got to move forwards to receive. Okay, so both girls, off we go. Good, try and play the deep player. Take a touch if you need to. Good. Now we could do this with one line at each end and just go into a solid target, but I like the fact they've got choices ahead of them. Okay, so the midfield support runner now, if you picture that in a game, could be a winger on either side that they then spray it out to. You try and get into a crossing situation in the game, but you're always providing the players with one or two options ahead. Rather than them just having one option, they don't have to make a decision. So it should be based on the quality of pass that they received. What foot are they receiving it on? How is their body shape? Are they ready to play? Are they already looking ahead now? As that ball gets played in, are they considering where they're going to pass the next pass? What's their next act? Which should be in the game, maybe a cross, could be a shot, could be a pass to the winger. But we need to think one step ahead in here. 